Hello, it's Dr. Michael Twyman, the heart attack prevention expert and the biohacking cardiologist. Last week I introduced you to my four-legged stool of optimal health. To review, the four legs include optimal nutrition, optimal exercise, optimal sleep, and optimal stress reduction or stress management. I had a request from one of my uh, long-term followers to do something about heart math and heart rate variability, so today that's what this uh, brief talk will be about. So stress, it's ubiquitous. Everybody has stress in their life, but how you deal with it determines if you get an illness from it. So there's a system called the autonomic nervous system. You have a sympathetic nervous system and an autonomic nervous system. I actually should say the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight response. The parasympathetic is your rest and relaxation. So if you're being chased by a bear, you need to ramp up your adrenaline, your epinephrine, and your cortisol. Uh, those things get you ready for the fight. So your pupils dilate, your blood pressure increases, your heart rate increases. You shunt blood from your guts, essentially, and send it to your muscles so that you can run or fight the bear. That's the sympathetic, that's your fight or flight response. That's okay if you're under you know, an actual acute stress, but many people live in this kind of chronic levels of high sympathetic tone or high stress. The parasympathetic system, on the other hand, is the rest and relaxation. And so the eat and digest is also somewhat uh, known as that. And this is activated mainly by your vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve helps kind of cool things down. Vagus nerve starts in your brain, goes through your area in your neck, goes to your heart, goes down to your gut. So when you get that real sick sensation in your uh, stomach when you're scared, that's usually the vagus nerve being stimulated. So there is a piece of technology called heart math. There's a couple different uh, versions of it. I'm wearing an older school 30 pin uh, iPhone one that's plugged into an iPad right now, and I'll demonstrate the, uh, the software in just a moment. But they also have a newer version that has the lightning port plugs into you know, an iPhone or an iPad that has a lightning port. They do have a Bluetooth version, but I personally don't recommend that. I don't like having a lot of radiation stuff up near my brain. So um, just plug it into a lightning port or a 30 pen. So the way the heart math device works is it clips to your ear, it's measuring your heart rate, and it's also measuring something known as your heart rate variability. The heart rate variability is the B2B difference between your heartbeat. So your heart should not be beating like a drum, 70, 70, 70, 70. As you breathe in, your heart rate expands. As you breathe out, heart rate contracts. So it's that distance between those heartbeats. So it might go up to 75 and down to 65 and keep swinging. The larger that spread tends to be the healthier your heart is. If it's really tight, less likely to be healthy and more likely to have heart issues going forward. Heart math helps you get coherence between what your brain tells your body and what your heart is pumping out essentially. So your brain talking to your heart, your heart talking back to your brain. It's another way also to kind of condition your parasympathetic tone, bringing that vagal tone up and bringing down that parasympathetic, that fight or flight response. So you get those things a little bit more equal. So I'll show you how this uh, application works. So it's a free app once you, you know, download it and you'll see at the top of the screen, it has the time, it has the uh, coherence, but there's also kind of a little moving ball going from screen right to screen left. This is the breath counter, you can dial it in, and it's something that you can uh, adjust, you know, you know, if you can't uh, keep up. So it's breathe in for the whole time it's moving one side, breathe out, it's moving the whole way the other side. The boxes below it, there's one that's measuring my heart rate currently, and then there's the other one that's measuring the heart rate variability. On the bottom of the screen, where there's color-coded green on top, blue, and red, the green is good coherence, the blue is intermediate, and red is low coherence. And because I'm talking, it's not gonna be very accurate. You need to be kind of in a mindful type of space to have this uh, really be accurate. So if I wasn't talking to you guys right now, I'd likely be pegged up in the green. Um, typically, if people are going to do this, I recommend they try at least five minutes a day and try to give it a good six weeks. If they do that, they should notice significant improvements in their overall stress levels. So this is something good to do, you know, you know with your bedtime routine. So within half hour, you're deciding to go to bed, or you know, it's a pretty small device you can carry around in your pocket or your bag. And if you're, you know, 
stuck you know after some traffic and you're not feeling great you, know, you can park your car put this on do a couple of these uh, exercises and try to get back into a, a better sympathetic parasympathetic tone balance so this is a quick overview of how the heart math device works and you know in future series we'll go through optimal health uh, by talking about optimal nutrition mainly by timing your meals optimal exercise mainly by resistance training and the right kind of cardio mostly intervals if you're fit enough to do interval training and then also optimal sleep which i'm an expert in too is kind of biohacking your sleep so thanks for watching and if you like this you know help me by sharing this with your friends and we'll be back next time thanks